Good morning, I am back in my favorite park ever. Um, this time I'm on the grass because there's shadow beneath the tree and I'm actually beneath uh, a frangy pane, if that's how you pronounce it, tree. Like there's little flowers sitting here that fell out of the tree and oh, uh, I cannot handle this, it's too good. Anyway, um, I got myself two smoothies. I already had an orange juice and pretty much I'm starting to understand why there's so many people who go like, yeah, you should do smoothies and stuff in the morning because I already did that at home. But it's so easy to get those here and it's so cheap um, together. Um, the orange juice, the pineapple lychee smoothie and the banana smoothie cost me 80 baht, which is less than three years, I think like 2.30 or something. Uh, which is insane so um, I'm just gonna have that and then I'm gonna pack my bag and get myself to Hua Lampung uh, which is the train station see if I can um, toss my bag somewhere over there and then um, I'm gonna I'm planning on going to Siam which is like a shopping area uh, where the hip youth is supposed to go so I'm curious to see what the hip youth looks like here um, speaking of, I am wearing my elephant pants and I think I heard them tear as I sat down, uh, but that's okay. I think I got a little bit more comfortable in them as I sort of started using them. So that's good. I, um, I promised myself I wouldn't buy another pair in Bangkok, so if I'm buying another pair it's probably in Chiang Mai or Chiang Rai or later in Phuket. Uh, but for now, they're comfy and they're nice and yeah, I'm very pleased with my morning overall. Hello, hello, I am in my room, I am fully packed. Um, it is 11.45 right now and the checkout time is either 12 or 1. I'm getting a bit confused, but booking is at 12, so I'm just gonna go with that. But basically, I nailed it. Let's have a look at my bag here. It looks kind of huge and it's a bit heavier, I think, than before, but that's because I moved my laptop around, so. Um, yeah, overall, not much to complain about. I do have my two sort of hand luggage things separately right now, uh, so I hope I can store my East pack because um, you may not know, but the Fjell Raven was a bit too small to be my only carry on luggage, so I put my Fjell Raven into my East pack. I keep forgetting directions. Yeah, East pack over there, uh, which is a little bit bigger and made it easier to fit everything in. Uh, but now I have three bags, so every time I'm moving cities and stuff, I have to think about that. And when I fly, I actually do have to put my Fjell Raven in my East pack, but that's fine. Um, but that's something that I haven't done right now, so I hope that'll be okay with lockers and everything. And if not, I will just move stuff around uh, when I get to Hua Lampung. I think I am pronouncing that correctly. It feels right, I guess. Uh, anyway, that's where I'm headed now and I think I'll just take a cab because I could take a ferry and then take a tuk-tuk for example, but um, do I really need the stress when I'm like with three pieces of luggage? Plus it's supposed to be cheap, but we'll find out um, once I get in there. <laughs> so that's it for now. I am going to the station. I can't believe I actually did this without stressing too much. <sighs> Travel goals achieved. <laughs> about an hour to get my to get to Hua Lampung and get my stuff um, in storage and everything but now I am at I think it's called Silong uh, going on Sala Deng station and I am making my way to Siam place um, where I will probably spend the next few hours have some food do some shopping see another side of town and then I'm going back to make sure that I get my um, stuff on time and also that I get food in this belly because I don't want to go on that train unfed or hungry as people seem to say it. Um, so that's what I'm doing right now. Um, and also I took it upon myself to make sort of promise myself that I would hold my camera by hand so that I will more easily grab for it because I tend not to do it because it's always in my little backpack which is great for like not carrying it but not so great for quick access so I'm just gonna hold on to it for a while and see how that goes. Okay so I didn't realize there were 
were just about to be people walking behind me and people are staring at me strangely. That is not why I decided to pick up my camera right now. Um, I'm still at the shopping center. I have some sugar cane juice here. Uh, my first, actually. Uh, I like it. It's a bit like coconut water, I would say. A bit sweeter, maybe. Coconut water with sugar in it. Um, but the whole of this bottle is a bit too much for me in terms of sugariness. So um, I'm gonna keep this for later in some way if I figure out how. Um, yeah, I'm still here. I'm just um, trying to fill my hours pretty much um, until I can go back to the station, get some food and start waiting on my train. Uh, I'm noticing that I'm a bit tired, maybe a bit too tired. Um, so I'm having a little bit of a dip or a down or whatever you call it, a slump. Yeah, that. But I'm sure I'll get over it in just a moment, just when I get in my, oh my god, I'm so tired, I'm high stage, which always happens, which is one thing to, can, to be able to count on. Um, yeah, I think that's all for now. I just wanted to give you a quick little update uh, before I just go like, hey, now I'm on a train, so. actually film anymore so it's good that I filmed that bit on the skywalk but I was just so done with it I don't know I just had an off day and it sort of gradually got worse pretty much but then on the train I met some nice people so that was good and I sort of had sleep on a train which is also good and now I'm in Chiang Mai and from the looks of it it's beautiful it's much more laid back and I really like that because I'm really I, I need that right now so that's a really good thing so the positivity is slowly creeping back in um, I am in my room now I was supposed to go into a dorm but I've been moved to a room with another girl and she's French which I love because maybe I can practice my French a little bit that wasn't pronunciation is deteriorating every day it's horrible but um, yeah it's time for me to relax a little bit, so I'm gonna look on Happy Cow to find a good place to eat that's not too far away, and then after that, I think I'll just go sit by the pool and enjoy a moment, because I deserve it, and in the end this is a vacation, and I shouldn't forget to do that part of it. So, uh, that's what I'm up to. This might be a little bit too loud and I might bump into a tree. Okay, let's try. So I just had lunch at a really cute little place. Um, it came up on top in Happy Cow. Um, I'm not entirely sure what it's called. I think Chang something. But I'll write it down in the description because it was delicious, simple, and the people were so kind. And it was only 30 baht and I got plasters for my feet because my feet hurt. So that was brilliant. And now I'm ready to relax. I would just get out of the most crowded part of town and stuff. Why can't it focus on my face? Is this better? Uh, it's working. Also, the battery is blinking. Oh god, this might be interesting. Anyway, I am at the night bazaar. Um, there's a lot more vegetarian and vegan food than I expected, so that's nice. Uh, I'm also looking for Vegan Heaven, which is another restaurant that was recommended on um, Happy Cow. So what I'll probably do is get dal at one of the stands because I saw dal and I just wanted to yes. So I'll probably get some dal and then go for more food and maybe dessert uh, to vegan heaven if I can find it. Also, I'm here by bike and that's all I'm gonna say for now because I'm scared this thing will just end and nothing will have saved. Um, so I think I'll leave it here for today. Um, I'll probably recharge the battery and see you again in the morning. So goodbye for now.